Minute Math, Minute Math. When you need help, you use Minute Math. Hi, I'm Sean Gannett, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving rational equations. We're going to solve each equation, and remember to check for extraneous solutions. So, if I was given this problem, k over 3 minus 1 over 3k is equal to 1 over k. Now this one I want to have all the denominators to be 3k. So to do that, this first part should be multiplied by k over k, and the last part here we multiply it over 3 over 3. So let's kind of bring this together. This denominator here, when we subtract it, shares k times 3, or 3k. So our numerator, we have k times k is k squared, and that's just minus the 1. Here we have 3 over 3k. Now I'm going to multiply both sides by just this denominator, 3k, to cancel out the division, and look at it cancels out both sides. So now we're left with k squared minus 1 equals 3. Well, this one's actually pretty easy. We add 1 to both sides, and we're left with k squared equals 4. Square root both sides, remember that's the opposite of square, square root. And we have k equals plus or minus square root of 4, which is 2. Don't forget your plus and minus. So, let's go check that. Because they told us we need to check for extraneous solutions. So, uh, take our original equation and plug 2 or negative 2 in. Let's go 2 first. 2 over 3 minus 1 over 3 times 2 equals 1 over 2. All right? Now we're going to see if the left and right hand side are equal. Well, we have 2 thirds here. Oh, kind of a little thing. Get ahead of myself. 2 thirds, not 3 halves. 2 thirds minus 1 sixth equals 1 half. Okay? Double check in here. 2 thirds minus 1 sixth should be a 1 half. And it is. So, since the left and right hand side are equal, a positive 2 is the solution. All right, let's try a negative 2. Same idea, negative 2 over 3 minus 1 over 3 times a negative 2. And that's equal to 1 over a negative 2. Let's see if that's true. Negative 2 thirds here minus 1 over a negative 6 equals a negative 1 half minus a negative 6, adding a positive. So negative 2 thirds plus 1 6 should be a negative 1 half. But let's just double check here, because I have the calculator, so why not? And we do have a negative 1 half. So for both of these, the left and right hand side were equal when we plugged in 2 and negative 2 in. So our values for k, you write like that, or it's a negative 2 and a positive 2. And there is our final answer. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com